Today we're revisiting the ultrasonic cleaner and trying to dissolve some more fun things in it. Stuff you guys said you wanted to see. Guys, a while back, we dissolved a bunch of things in this ultrasonic cleaner, including a giant jawbreaker. It was huge and it was seriously so cool. It was really fun to see how much more it dissolved in the ultrasonic cleaner than with just other running water. It really ate away at the bottom of it where it was pointing at like the vibrating panels in this machine. You guys said there were some things that you wanted to see us test. So today that's what we're doing. We're testing out some of your ideas. Here's the basic idea. We've got several things that we want to test in our ultrasonic cleaner including oobleck, cotton candy, and a five pound gummy bear. One of the first things we're gonna test, I don't actually know that we're doing it the way they meant. They said that they wanted to see us try dissolving jello, and I think they meant to take a piece of jello and put it into water running in the machine. But wouldn't that just dissolve it because jello needs water? Yeah, probably. It might dissolve it faster, but instead of that, I made a batch of jello and just poured it directly into the machine and let it set overnight. So we have solidified jello in the machine. We're gonna see what happens when we turn it on. This thing operates at about 30,000 hertz, meaning every second it pulses 30,000 times. That's, that's insane. a lot. We want to see what that's going to do to the jello. Is it going to bubble? Is it going to liquefy or solidify or move around? Or is it just going to sit there and ignore it entirely? I'm betting we're going to get some weird ripples. Because it's got like two spots. And yep. I think it's going to just emanate out from both of those and maybe start to cavitate and give us some bubbles. I'm excited. OK, ready? Come on. Two, three. Bubbles! Oh, we are getting bubbles. Yeah, not a lot visibly is happening, but that cavitation I was talking about, little bubbles, little bubbles. showing up in the middle. It's not just down at the bottom. There's like one main little thing in the middle, and it's kind of like spreading outward just a smidge. Does it feel different? I cannot feel anything on the surface of the jello. Do you feel it when you press into it? Yeah. Ooh, that feels funky. It's like moving away from my finger. It feels hot. Ultrasonic things will do that to skin. Like, oh man. Right? Yeah, it's a weird, the tingly. unpleasant mostly sensation. And like, my finger it's is, like liquefied yeah. right around that spot. My finger is not, like when it was in there, it was like, mm. Yeah, as it gets too close, you're like, the, the tissue inside of fingers, it's unpleasant, honestly. Like, it can start to hurt. Weird. So can because, we poke all the way through? Uh, yeah, I think so. We, do we want to turn it off for a sec? Well, I was thinking we could like use something to stick in there, like whenever. So what I'm kind of wondering, because like where you stabbed it, there's like liquid coming out. I wonder yeah. if it has liquefied Underneath. the bottom part of the Jello. It looks like it, the way the bubbles are like moving. It does. I'm gonna actually try and drink some of the Jello Ew. through a straw. See if I can pull any up. Hot? No. It's just jello. Hard to get through the straw, but now I want to try it in the liquefied spot and see if it's like actually liquid down there. Mm. Much more. Really? Oh, and it tastes awful. Oh yeah, that's way oh, yeah, that's softer. Like, like it's still gelatinous, but it's a much softer texture. Gelatinous. And still detect it. So the jello didn't work out like we were expecting it to, but it was still super cool to see in there and how it melted when it got to the bottom because of that heater. Now we're gonna see what happens when we stick some cotton candy in there. We all know cotton candy melts when it's in water, but what's it gonna do with the ultrasonic cleaner? Cotton candy already dissolves pretty quickly in water. So let's first do a test in our bowl of water. And then we'll try turning on the ultrasonic machine and see if it goes any faster or differently. Goodbye, cotton candy. Pretty much dissolves instantly. Adios. Leaves some residue behind. All right, in our buzzy machine, let's see if it's any different. Look at the ripples! It does move the water around a lot more than it moved the jello around. I think the dissolving <laughs> process is about the same speed. But the color going into the water is was cool. so cool. Because it sort of skitters around a little bit in ways that it didn't with just the plain water. Do you want to try some pink? Yeah, do some pink. The swirl Ooh, look patterns how angry it is. are definitely a little more interesting. Yeah, that it gets, was like hovering. It's the little concentrated bits. It all kind of got blasted together in one spot. All right, I'm going to just uh, do the rest of my blue here. 
Whoa! That might be just a little bit faster. It might not, but it's possible. But it's so cool. Yeah, the swirling patterns are neat. The water, now that you've added this into it, isn't nearly as like near. That's true. It's not vibrating in the same pattern. So something about the sugar that's down along the bottom, perhaps, has or changed. the change in consistency of it. Stuff gets like right over one of the vibrating points, though. It really like blasts it apart instead of just letting it sit there. Yeah. The water itself kind of ended up going back to clear because the pink and the blue almost canceled each other out. Now we're gonna test out these Alka Seltzer tablets. So let's see what it does first by itself. Ooh, fizzy, fizzy. Man, everything today is orange flavored and I love it. It's the only candy flavor I like. So that was about a minute and 20 seconds for them to get to that point. Cool. Not exactly, but close to. Now we're gonna test it in our little Buzzy well, Alka-Seltzer dissolving machine. Let's see how much faster our Buzzy Alka-Seltzer dissolving <laughs> machine does. Ready, one, two, three. Oh, bigger bubbles. It's like pulses of the like, instead of the fizzes being like fizzy, it's like pulses of the fizz all at once. This guy's up on its side. Yeah. Look at how it's like collecting bubbles on the sides. So by my count, it took about 10 seconds less for them to get to this point. So a small difference, but a difference. And it's also interesting because like, this one just has powder is just yeah, still down in there. No and then powder. This one, I mean, there's like little bits like that have come together in a couple spots. This one has almost none left. And so I think it didn't let it settle on the bottom. It kind of like blasted it away and sent it other places. And normally when you use Alka-Seltzer, it carbonates the water a little bit. It's putting so much CO2 in it dissolves. And this one mm. is. The bowl is carbonated. That's the not... machine is completely flat. No, still tastes completely flat. And this, it's nowhere near as fizzy as soda but it is definitely fizzy. Interesting. It definitely behaves differently. The bubbles have a cooler, different like pulsing pattern you're talking yeah. about. And then no carbonation is left in the water because the ultrasonic vibrations just tear it out. Too intense. Speaking of, one of the things we really liked last time we tested this was when we put soda in. We had Coca-Cola and I think Sprite. This time, just because we thought it looked cool, we've got three different colors and we just want to do the same thing. Almost certainly it's just going to blast all of the carbonation out, but that looks really neat. And now we're gonna do it in three colors. Okay, pink soda is a go. Whoa! <laughs> I was not expecting that. What the heck? It blasts, all, like turn it off. Now take the straw and take a sip. No. Just. No. Just. No. All right, I'll do it. <laughs> oh, right, soda. But it's not soda anymore, it's <laughs> no, not carbonated. No, it's like, no. Zero carbonation, zero sugar, watermelon flavored Mountain Dew. <laughs> <sighs> Three, two, one. So cool. This one's taking longer, is it because it has the sugar in it? Could be. It's taking a lot longer. Yeah, it's like not completely flat, just missing a lot of carbonation. Ooh, that's cool. That's Little cool. Little pockets like pushing its way through the surface. That looks awesome. Those bubbles have way more surface tension. Yeah. This looks like a, an ant farm almost. Seriously. They're like neurons firing. Like that bubbled way longer than any of the other ones did. So I will be intrigued to see if we can get the same fast reaction with the- uh, The second zero sugar. Yeah, the second zero sugar. Three, two, one. Weird. Instant. And look how fast oh, yeah. it's dissolving. Goodbye. I feel like maybe the first so one dissipated faster. a little faster, yeah. but this is so much faster than the second one that had sugar in it. It has to be the sugar that's changing the pulse because even with the cotton candy, we saw a change in the pulse and then we're seeing a change in the pulse again. You know what else it looks like right as it starts? It looks like a bacterial colony. Yeah. Especially, like I thought of it more on this one because it's like the light green color. Green. It's closer to the agar gel and like, yeah, it, the way it spread in those circles looked like a bacteria colony. Do you see like the bigger bubbles yeah, skidding around at the bottom? They like hide under the surface bubbles, but like at an angle, sometimes you can see them. It's just like a little blob of bubbles stuck to the bottom before it manages to rise up. There's a good one forming. All right, turn it off. You gonna taste that one? Mm, tastes oh, yeah. like diet toxic waste. Ooh, black. 
As Ooh, many nice. of you know, the mixture of cornstarch and water is a sheer thickening liquid, which means as energy is put into it, it solidifies more. If you let it go, it relaxes and will run like a normal liquid or eh, more like a normal liquid. Behaves more like a little yeah. liquid. We have not much, a, maybe a centimeter, less than yeah, a centimeter yeah. of water at the bottom of our container. And we're going to turn it into oobleck by adding cornstarch until it's the right consistency. We want to see what this does when we turn on the ultrasonic cleaner. Okay, ready to turn this on? Let's do it. Here it goes, three, two, one. Hmm. Nothing. Drag your finger across the surface of it. You feel it? Just kind of slowly. Try it. Mm. Now, do the exact same thing without it being on. So do it again. Is it gripping more or is it just acting the same? It's gripping more. So there is a difference, but it's not an extreme difference. Oh yeah. Oh, you like feel it solidify up as your hand is in it kind of? A little bit. Yeah, it's harder to stir. And we are getting like spots around where it's pulsing, where it's behaving differently. It like wants to grab your hand and like make you one of it. If you turn it off and I try to do this, it, it doesn't like it no. to happen. Like look, I can't like. Oh, it doesn't grip onto your finger as much. Like at all. That's weird. Like I can lift it and do Just that. Just one finger down in there and I'm letting it grab on. And then I bring my finger out so I get some. We've got a five pound gummy bear in our machine. Woo! We've got a three pound gummy bear in our machine. Woo! Nate built this when we were doing the jawbreaker. It cycles the water in, spits the bad water out. So we're just gonna see how long it takes to dissolve our gummy bear. Okay, so our gummy bear has been sitting for an hour, dissolving away. Nate's pouring out its fluids. We had a minor leak. We were running hot water, <laughs> and it was hot enough that it started like weakening the hot glue connection holding this plastic bin up. So water just started going pouring everywhere. Pouring everywhere. First in it the went studio. over the counter here, then it went around the back of the sink onto the counter, and then onto the floor again. It was just a whole thing happening. So. Um, but what we have left is just this puddle of liquid gummy. There's no bear left. Like, they, yeah. Everything about this is just gummy bear soup. Uh, and I gotta say, I don't know how much the ultrasonic changed that and how much it was just the heat, but some combination of those two really did a number on it and... We don't have a bear anymore. Tastes like hot gummy? Yeah. This is it. It's not great but it's not awful. I don't want any more of it. This looks gross. <laughs> so it didn't like wash away the way the jawbreaker did. It just nope. puddled. It literally just like. Yep. I mean, some of it did wash away. Like there's much less in there. It was basically yeah. full, but a lot of it is still there. Let's just get a big old scoop of it here. Yeah, there it is. Ew. Gummy bear. That was fun. That was great. That was good things to test. What was your favorite thing that we put in the ultrasonic cleaner today? Uh, honestly, the sodas. As much it as that so pains cool. me. so cool. Yeah. And testing the... Those bubbles. Yeah. And then it was like really cool, the sugar versus the no sugar. That Amazing was really fascinating to me. So that was my favorite. What was yours? Maybe also the sodas, but it was surprisingly interesting to see like the swirls of the cotton candy yeah. as it dissolved into the water and like got blasted around inside those turbulent waters. <laughs> but yeah, it was fun to see. It was cool. Let's know if there's anything else you want us to stick in the ultrasonic. If it survives, it might be dead. <laughs> Guys, that's it for today, but we've got tons of great videos for you to see. Check out one of our favorites right here and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.